Daily go get a amazing show. Daily go get a amazing show. Daily go get a amazing show. Daily go get daily go get a amazing show. Daily go get daily go get um what's going on, y'all? How y'all feeling? <sighs> Yo. Throwback Thursday, let's get real about relationships Thursday, and this is the Daily go get a show. I'm your host, Sun752, and tonight we are talking about you have to do more than you did to get them. You know how they say, whatever you did to get them, you got to keep doing to keep them. Whatever you did to get them, got to do to keep, 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 keep them. Is that true? Is that true? Because we say it all the time. There has to be a, a hint of truth to it, but is it the whole truth? Sometimes certain things apply in certain situations to deal with certain, you know, things that are going on in your certain mind frame for a certain time in your life. And um, there are times in our lives when we are attracted to a certain thing or we are trying to portray a certain thing to appear attractive to somebody else. And um, that may work for us at that time, but it might not work for us later on when we when we grow when we change, when we develop, when we when we already have enough to fulfill a certain obligation or situation, and now it's time for us to level up, move up, get a little farther, get, 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 get a little farther. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing the, um, I'm not seeing the, the, the mic meter, so I need to know if y'all can hear me. Now, I, I do take for granted that if y'all couldn't hear me by now and it looked like I was just mouthing the words, that y'all would probably tell me, but I still need to know so we can confirm and so we can be sure, so we can confirm, so we can be sure, so we can confirm, we can be sure, we can com- 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 confirm, we can be, 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 be sure, confirm, be sure, confirm, be sure. All right, good. All right, so let's get it popping. All right, so tonight we are talking about you have to do more than you did to get them. So whatever you did to get them. So all y'all young twerkers out there, y'all little ride or die chicks, you know, y'all down for whatever and whoever. Right hand high in the sky, I lie for you. I will ride, 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 die for you. You probably have to take into consideration that sometime at some time in your future, as you learn, as you get older, as you start having children, as you start becoming more concerned with your mortality, you're probably not going to be down for all of that riding or dying stuff. You know what I mean? You're probably um, going to be less concerned with riding and even less and less concerned with you dying. So, yeah, all of that, you know. All of that um, looking for a man that's a hustler, that's a street dude, being all out there, taking chances on their freedom, taking chances on their health, taking chances on their lives or or on their mortality. Yeah, you're probably going to move on from that one day. See, a strange thing, ha- a, a strange thing happens as you make it through certain periods of your life that you never thought that you would make it make it um out of you know some of us or even a lot of us are at ages and at periods in our life that in our lives that we never thought that we would be how many of you are are way older now than you ever thought that you would be when you were way younger how many of you never thought that you would make it to be 30 years old How many of you never thought that you would get to be 40 years old? How many of you never dreamed in your wildest dreams when you were younger that you would reach 50 years old? How many of y'all? And and many of y'all are there scratching your head, wondering how you got, got here because you may know what you were into before. You are fully aware of what you would accept before in your life. And none of those things are what you would accept now in your life. And it's ca- it may be causing a conflict between your level of understanding and acceptance of what you would accept for your children. You're probably trying to shield them and protect them 
and, and keep them away from the things that you were doing at the age that they are in their lives now because you realize that there was a lot of luck and a lot of divine intervention that got you through the times that you that you made it through. Hmm? Mm, 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 mm. So, so now, so now, when we start talking about your your lovers, your spouses, your baby moms, your baby dads, and and people who who would romantically be with you now, yeah, I know that they say whatever I did to get them is what I have to keep doing to keep them. But is it really like that? And should it be like that? Because that goes against growth. It goes against education. It goes against development. It goes against maturity. It goes against evolution. It really does. So when you was a little loosey-goosey, when you was a hot mama out here, you know, doing the Instagram model thing, taking off all your clothes for the whole world to see, doing little nasty things for the whole world to see putting all your sexual your sexual history and your your uh your whole sexual game plan out there for the whole world to know and now even though you may enjoy having sex that's not the biggest part of you anymore that's not what you're willing to do to 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 keep a person to 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 attract a man anymore that's not what you that's not what you want your your children to see. That's not what you want your family to 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 think about you. Now you're more more concerned about the way that you look in the world. Sure, you can't change the things that you did back in the day. You was a hoe. Ain't no way around it. You was a hoe. You did all kinds of hoe things. But you the reasons that you did all kinds of hoe things and the reasons that you may have been a hoe are were, were different then. And you ain't willing to do that or be that anymore. So what happens when you're dealing with a man that's still looking for you to be that loosey goosey, that twerking beauty? What happens? Do you have to keep doing those things in order to keep them? Well, I hope not. Because if he hasn't grown, if he hasn't grown from wanting to be with somebody that the whole world wants to be with just because the whole world wants to be with, with her, then he has a, he has bigger fish to fry himself. You understand what I'm talking about? So that's what we're talking about tonight on the Daily Go Get Emism show. You have to do more than you did to keep them. I mean, to get them. So just like they say, whatever you did to get them, you got to keep doing in order to keep them. Well, we're going to buck that tonight. We're going to take a look at, at that tonight. We're going to examine it. Examine it. We're going to examine it. And we're going to break it down and dissect it, pick it apart, analyze it, put it under a microscope, and see if there's any bacteria on it. And we're gonna clean it and disinfect it. Cause we 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 made it here. Throwback Thursday. Yeah, we made it here. Yeah, it's the let's get real. Yeah, we made it here. Yeah, yeah. I'm here, you're here, we're here, everybody is here, and I'm glad that you're here. Uh here with me, here is the place to be. We gonna do the goddamn thing. Cause you know that we we weren't princes or princesses, we were trying to be queens and kings. And now that time has really come. We ain't trying to be out there playing ourselves looking dumb. But we was doing all of that before. Didn't really care like Lizzo keeping the score. You're well, on a higher plane and I'm trying to do my thing. We ain't insane no more. We trying to get ourselves together. No more drugs. No more crazy shit. Yeah, we're better than we were before. Yeah, yeah, we want more, uh, better than we were before, and we are going for a whole lot more. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it popping. Urban Therapy with Sun, Sun, 752 with this, daily, daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, go get a mism show. We do this every single day, every single day, every day, every day it rains, every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. We break it down, baby, every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. Every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. Every day it rains. And the DG will do the same.
Every day it rains and the DG will do the same. I'm your host, Sun752, a.k.a. Omar with the... And if you can't say Omar with the... Well, then you just say Omar with the R. This is the Daily go get show. I'm feeling like a real man should, and I hope y'all feeling like real men and women should tonight on this March 16th on the Daily Go Get Him show. We are talking about you have to do more than you did to get him. You have to do more than you did to get him. You got to do more than you did to get him. Yeah, y'all been through the fire and brimstone. You're still with them. What up, y'all? What up, my people? Stacey White, T. Carey Wright, Emily Dunlap in the house. My brother from another mother, Norris Hill, and Mia Cunningham. Y'all, are y'all ready? Are you ready? You have to do more than you did to get them. I mean, think about it. If you've been with a person for a long time, you know, when you've been with a person for a long time, and I mean a real long time, not the internet long time. The internet long time is a year or two. But when you've been with somebody for more than two years, more than three years, more than four years, five years, and I don't care whether you're married or not because that's a decision that the two of you have to work out. But if if you've been with somebody long enough to, to really learn and grow with them, to really find out who they really are, not who they surface are, you know what I mean? You know how it is. That internet getting to know a person means that you don't really know them. You don't know how a person is over a period of time until you get through some years with them. See, the internet doesn't preach that. It doesn't teach that. It doesn't seem to understand that. It doesn't under, It doesn't seem to understand the, the, the process of a, a seed being planted into, into the ground. And you having to wait until um, it gets not not only planted, but then uh, rain rains on it, light comes on it, and it starts to sprout out of the out of the dirt, out of the soil, and grow and grow and grow and grow. And you don't you, you won't really understand that until you see the way that a plant ch- um, uh, chases the light. It chases the light of the sun. All of my people who have plants in their homes, you'll notice that the plant follows the light of the sun. Like I've actually had to turn plants around to make them follow the sun in a different place if I, if I put them in a different room or something like that. But you see the amazing involuntary action of a non-human object. And then you get to thinking about human beings, how we think that we can put something in one place and it will just stay the same. Uh, You know, you changed on me. You know, you changed on me. You don't understand. Well, see, the Internet doesn't understand. But as a human being, you are forced to understand. You are forced to see the changes and developments in a person over a period of time. You're, you're, You're forced to see how they act, how the endurance of their emotions stand up against the test of time that's what they're not going to give you on the internet that's what you're going to have to find out for yourself so like the internet says all you got to do is cook for a man clean for a man blow a man you know suck his dick give him some pussy what would they say um keep his belly full and his balls empty and you'll keep that man for life that's what the internet tells you. And we'd be like, facts. That's right. Yup. Mm-hmm. Truth. That's right. So keeping his belly full and his balls empty. You ain't said nothing about children. You ain't said nothing about responsibilities. You ain't said nothing about education. You ain't said nothing about development. You ain't said nothing about um, 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 mental health, uh, emotional health, even physical health. You ain't said nothing about that. But the internet don't care. Facts. 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 
No, it's not facts. You know what I'm saying? Where, where, when you were, when you were younger or whatever you were at that time, sex might have been the most important thing on your agenda. It might have been your only claim to fame. And that's male or female. So you might have been the type of woman whose who's, who's twat just seemed to get them everything that they wanted from certain dudes. But they kept attracting only certain dudes. Only certain dudes. Because of the way that they... Because of the t techniques that they employed in order to get those men. So more mature men that were concerned with more than just what was between your legs weren't men that you would attract. I mean, they liked you. Oh, yeah, and they would have sex with you, but they didn't want to be with you because they realized that you weren't bringing anything else to the table. So those weren't the type of men that you were going to have to keep doing the same things for in order to keep them. You were going to have to do more. You was probably going to have to take a few classes, ma. You was going to have to stomp your ass down to the community college and take some classes. Learn how to do something. Learn how to be valuable. Learn how to spit, um, learn how to uh, uh, make some money and save some money instead of being the one that that spends all of the money. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're still pretty. That's good. You're still pretty, and you still got that pearl between your legs. That's good. That's a good start, but it's it's a bad finish. It's a good start, but it's a bad finish. Same thing for you, homeboy. Throwing your money all around. You know what I mean? Out there hustling. Hustling, scrambling, running from the cops, running from the cops and the ops. That's what you've been doing. Getting that fast money, living that fast life. You know, going back and forth to going back and forth to jail, going back and forth to court, always caught up in some shit. Motherfuckers trying to kill, kill you, murk you, threaten your family, kidnapping your team, you know, all that old crazy stuff. Yeah. But you was getting that money. You was getting that money. A lot of the money went towards towards court and legal fees, but you know you was getting that money and the type of chicks that you was getting, yeah, you was getting those chicks because you was out there living that type of life and they was looking for a type that type of man. But once they stop, once they stop wanting to be in the line of fire, <clears throat> um, once they stop wanting to be a potential target of being able to get, once they got tired of being a potential target by the ops to get to you <clears throat> once they start having children that they want to make sure are safe <clears throat> and that they want to have a a father um um be there for them in their in their formative years and you know as they grow into adulthood you ain't the man for that so yeah the things that you you did to get that bad bitch They might not be the things that you need to do in order to keep them. She might need something different now. Like, yeah, we was doing fast cars and 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 uh, drug trips to, to Costa Rica and all of that kind of stuff. I can, we can't be doing that now. We got three kids, or I might have more than three three children. But you really only need one that you care about in order to change your life around. So yeah, those things that you did in order to keep to to get me. No, I need you to do something else to keep me. Because we can't we can't stay in this dangerous situation. I need you to do something else. I need you to get legit. You know, use some of that hustling money and 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 develop some some legal businesses that are that are lucrative. I'll help you do that. But you got to get out of this game because it's not going to end you up anywhere except for down six feet underground or in an incinerator incinerator for for uh. For, for cremation or 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 in jail for for life sentences and i'm not trying to bring my children up to 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 um to to the prison upstate for endless vi days uh -uh. Mm -mm, we ain't doing that i'm not going to be at home telling my kids that you away at school so how is it that they they went through they going through 12 years of school and 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 they got out but you still in what grade you in, Dad? Come on now. When you have to do more than you did to get them in order to keep them, sometimes you gotta you gotta grow, you gotta learn. Many of us are at that point. 
We are older than we ever thought that we would be. And now we kind of impressed. Now there are new life challenges. Like, shit, if I made it to 45, I might mess around and make it to 50. If I make it to 50, I might mess around and make it to senior citizen. I might actually see this retirement thing. Hmm. So, so let's talk about it, be about it, get involved. These puzzle pieces right now, we gonna solve, baby. Uh, I said we gonna solve, baby. Yo, I'm gonna test your resolve, baby. All right, y'all. So let's get let's get it popping. Let me see what y'all talking about. I hope I've given y'all a full understanding of what of what we what we're saying this evening. Let's dialogue. Throwback Thursday. Let's get real about relationships Thursday. What's up? Um, T. Carrie writes. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Good. I'm glad my mic sounds nice. Good looking, brother from another mother, Norris Hill and Stacy White. Word up. All right. Norris says, if anything, doing nothing and feeling entitled is as bad as just going backwards after getting them. I agree. I agree. T. Carrie Wright says, plants lean toward the sun. That's true. They do. That's true. I got a plant in my house right now that look like it's zigzagging. You know what I mean? Because uh, I had it turned this way, and it was leaning so much that way that I turned it around. That thing is like, it's going that way, and it's trying to come back that way. It's really kind of amazing. It's kind of amazing. But it leans toward, it leans toward where it can live longer and stronger. And that's what we do too, subliminally. But sometimes we don't, we don't, we, we try to buck that system. And it is a system. It's a law. And real laws don't have to, real laws are not policies. They're not policies. They can't be broken. Every living thing tries to preserve its life. But human beings be on some bullshit. All right. Cow Chamber, let me friend me, favorita Vita B. Thanks for coming on through to see me. Cow says, had computer problems. Oh, nah, I ain't trying to hear that. When I say I have computer problems, you don't be trying to hear it. You ain't trying to no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> she says, uh, can't believe everything you, you find on the internet. Man, this social media thing, you'd be surprised at how many people, um, I'm not going to say that it's not real, but you'd be surprised at how many people live through other people's examples instead of living their own. They, You'd be surprised at how many people, um, I, I don't mean you'd be surprised, but you understand what I'm saying. Because I'm sure that y'all are, are familiar with this phenomenon. But what I mean is there are so many people that are more concerned with the lives and the and the goings on of other other people's lives that they don't know, that they don't interact with, that they put less and less credence in their own lives and what they're going through. It's it's it's, it's amazing. T. Carry Wright says, this subject is funny because I feel like my man had to do more in the beginning than he has to do now because of my thinking back then. Well, yeah, that, that's, that, might, that might make sense. In the beginning is when you feel like you have to do it. You know, check this out, y'all. Check, check it out. Check, check it out. You know, in order to catch fish in the river, in the lake, in the streams, in the ponds, in the in the ocean, you have to put bait on the hook with the string, with the line, with the fishing line, and you have to cast it out there into the water. You don't get to decide which fish bites on that line 
But when you get the fish, you got to reel the fish in. You Sometimes you have to reel it in a way, shift the, the, the rod and the reel in a way to make sure that you hook the fish. And the line has to be strong enough to complete the process of reeling the fish all the way up into the boat. But once you do that, you have the fish. Now, what you had to do to get that fish is a lot different than what you have to do to keep that fish. Seems oversimplified, right? But it's an example. What you had to do to get that fish is not what you have to do to keep that fish. In order to keep that fish, you got to keep the fish cold enough to be able to enjoy the fish as a meal when you get back to shore and want to clean the fish, store the fish, cook the fish, eat the fish, feed your family with the fish. There are different things that you have to do in order to keep the fish. And none of those things that you have to do to keep those fish are what you had to do in order to get those fish. The things that you had to do to get the job that you work in, or that you work at, sorry, are not the same things you have to do to keep that job. They're not. They're not. In order to get that job, you might have lied on your resume. You may have presented yourself as a team player. You may you may have talked to people, asked, um, 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 you may have been resourceful and things like that in order to get that job. You're not exactly the, 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 the person that you presented in that interview for a lot of you when you got that job. The things that you had to do to get that job are not necessarily the things you have to do in order to keep that job, especially if you work in a union job. And all my union workers know exactly what I'm talking about. Keeping that job is a lot easier than getting that job. And other jobs too, union and non-union jobs. So what you had to do to get that job may have been to have a good history and good reference, good have good references from previous jobs. You had to present yourself in a certain type of way. Once you got that job, you didn't have to, you didn't have to impress them in the same way that you had to, to impress them in order to get the job. You had to get on their radar in order to get the job. When you got the job, you probably tried to stay off of their radar as much as possible. I'm trying to stay out of the way, do my job, do my eight and skate, do my eight and skate, do my eight and skate, do my eight and skate. It's not the same thing. But we so quick to tell you that what Sharonda, that what Sharonda did in order to get with Terry is what she got is what she did in order to get Terry. So she was a little hot in the ass, you know, always willing to 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 blow him while he's driving down the highway type of chick. That's what Sharonda got to keep doing in order to keep Terry. What did Terry do in order to get Sharonda? He had to peel off hundreds. He had to peel off Benjamins all day. Because Sharonda is a bad bitch. So she ain't messing around with no dudes who ain't got no money. So her twerking, slurping ass, twerking, slurping ass, twerking, slurping head, head, um, 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 face down, mouth open, legs wide, mouth open, legs wide, mouth open. Get it, get it. Yeah, all that's good when it's new. But if that's what you have to do in order to keep somebody that you're with, it's going to get old. Look how many people you know, or even in your own in your own history. Maybe when you and whoever you are with first got together, y'all might have been having sex all the time. You know, you hear people say all the time, we was doing it every day. We was doing it multiple times a day, blah, 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 blah. Well, how come, how come hardly anybody keeps up that type of sexual schedule? Because it ain't realistic. That's one of the reasons. It's not realistic. If you're dealing with somebody who has that 
that that level of libido eventually they're going to leave you behind because you don't have the time you know if you if you have sex every day multiple times a day you probably don't work that much not if the sex is decent anyway even if it's not for a man you busting off two three nuts a day where you work at that even when you're a young man it, that ain't that ain't that ain't no easy thing to do. That ain't no easy thing to do. Every day, I'd be interested in seeing how that works because it doesn't sound all that feasible. But nonetheless, even if even if it is that way or started off that way, if you don't need more as you learn and as you grow. There's something is wrong with you. There's something going on. So more than likely, we all have to do something different and something more than we did to, to keep the person that, we with, that we're with. If we want to be with them, then we did to get them. All right. Wow, T.K. Wright says, sounds like an episode of BMF. <laughs> wow. And I did say Terry, didn't I? Wow. Okay. All right. I'm going to change it from Terry to Sharif. There you go. All right. Um, Vita B says, problem with some, um, problem with some is getting out of the game. They will still, they they still keep the game if 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 you know if you know what I mean. Some lack integrity, respect, and just plain people skills. And you got to get better at those things. You got to get better at those things. Man, I've known a lot of hustlers in my day. I've known a lot of dope boys. You know, I, I, um, you know, just corner boys. Cat, you know, corn. I've known corner bosses, and I've known bosses, bosses. I've known dudes who move weight, not just from, not just, not just, uh, um, state to state either. And I don't know any of them that don't want more for themselves than what they're doing because they know, they know what the end of it is. They know every time they they deal with their plug, every time they deal with their connect. It's a gamble. They know it. You know, you buying bricks. You know what I mean? You don't know if it's an undercover agent. You don't know if you are just sealing the deal for the rest of your life being incarcerated or if you are going to, to see your last day today, leaving your babies behind, leaving your, 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 your woman or your women behind. It ain't a good look. Drug dealing ain't really a game for, for, for folks over 30 years old. Of course, there are plenty of people over 30 years old who are still doing it. But all of them had to get smarter. They couldn't be wild and crazy and reckless like they were when they were younger. They couldn't be out there willing to, willing to kill and, you know, uh, have other people, you know, murked out there and all. They can't do it like that. They have to find a way to sell drugs and stay out of the way. You know how hard that is? I got to get this money illegally and find a way to stay out of the way. So, I you know, I don't want the ops being mad at me. I don't want the cops being mad at me. I don't want the judges and lawyers and the politicians and the and people in the community, you know, all in my business and mad at me. It ain't easy. It ain't easy, baby. It ain't easy. So we be thinking that because they make a little money, uh, uh, maybe a little or a lot more money than we do, we think that they they think that they have it going on. We think that they think that they have it going on. <clears throat> Not so. Not so in their mind. In yours, yeah. And theirs, no. Carol says, installing a new printer. Shut it. Mm.
anyway. What was wrong with the old printer? <laughs> you had to get the new blue Bluetooth printer. <laughs> you know you got to get different ink now, right? It's more expensive. Anyway. Anyway, B2B says, I drop in when I can. Everything you hit on, I am dealing with in some way. I hear that. We only talking about life circumstances anyway. So we do we do the most in the beginning stages. We do the most in the beginning stages of a relationship. But when people get comfortable, a bo- <laughs> oh boy, a whole different game. You can call it getting comfortable. Or you can call it you can call it settling in. Settling in. You know what you did to. What you did to get get the house that you moved into is not what you have to do in order to keep that house. In order to keep that house, you got to keep it up. You have to make sure that you follow whatever deed restrictions there may there may be um, um, dealing with the county that you live in. You didn't have to do none of that shit in order to get the house. Only thing you had to do in order to get the house was have decent credit and, and have the down payment. And you got the house. That's it. That's all you had to do. But getting the house, keeping the house up, making sure that it's painted, making sure that the roof isn't leaking, making sure that the pipes are straight, making sure that you have the appliances in there, making sure that it's comfortable for you and yours, making sure that there's enough room for the family that you may have that may be growing, making sure that that your home feels like a home and not just a house, making sure that that's the place that you come to escape from the rest of the world instead of just being a place that you have an address to. A home is a very emotional purchase. And what you do in order to keep your home is not what, what you had to do in order to get it. You got to do different things. You may have to do more things. You may want to upgrade your home. Maybe your home didn't have as many rooms in it as you as you um, as it had when you first got it for your growing family. Maybe you only had one child, two children, three children when you moved into your house. Maybe now you have two or three more. Maybe when you bought your house, maybe you were single. Now, you got your eye on somebody. You're developing with somebody. Maybe it went from being your house to our house. Now you, you're in a place, you're in a place and at a place where you have, where you trust you have trust. You didn't have that before. You were proud for something to, to be able to call something just yours. Now maybe you're more proud to call something ours. Do you know what power you have when you have the power of trust in somebody? Just to be able to let yourself go, to be able to trust somebody. Like, you know what? I trust you. I mean, you, I mean, hold on, y'all. Think about this for a minute. You know, all my independent women out there, you know what I mean? I hear y'all talking how proud y'all are that y'all are able to take care of your own kids, pay your own car, pay for your own car, your own house. You got your own career. You got everything on your own. And that is power. But you know what's even more powerful? When you have experienced the love, the dedication, the life-changing experience of being able to say, nah, I'm willing to share all of this with you. I got all of this by myself. And if something should happen to either one of us, I will get it again. But I'm so glad to be able to, to, to be able to want to present this to you because I know that you can, you can make this better. We can do more with the two than I did with the one. I did a whole lot with the one, but wow. I never knew that God would give me the power of the two. A lot of people never get a chance to experience that shit. You know what I mean? Imagine you making a decent wage. You shaking and moving. And then you get with somebody who smooths you out. Even if they're not moving in the same direction, they're moving in a direction that you can move with. Like, damn, shit, I had given up on this. You know what I mean? I I given up on thinking that there was a man for me or a woman for me that 
that that would understand understand the way that I am. You may have given up on finding or thinking that you would ever find somebody who would allow you to be your true self, your real self. Let me break this down for a minute because a lot of people ain't going to know what I'm talking about yet because a lot of people ain't got this yet. Until you have gotten with somebody who lets you be your motherfucking self, then you ain't had nobody yet. Until you have somebody who you don't have to hide your musical choices from. You, you, until you have somebody who you don't have to secretly um, surf the internet from. You know, when somebody asks you what, you, what you be looking at on your phone? Or what you be looking at on your computer? Well, you ain't got to shut your computer down because you like granny porn or some shit like that. That's when you know you got somebody. You know, your little nerdy, your little nerdy uh, uh, innuendos, your little, your little, your little fetishes, your little blah, 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 blah. As long as they ain't off the wall and hurt, hurt nobody. I ain't saying, you know, you know, somebody, you know, you, you, you a pedophile or no shit like that. I ain't saying that. I'm saying when, when somebody doesn't look at you as being corny for being your individual self, that's when you know that you have somebody finally. And most of us want that. But a lot of us think that we'll never get that because we ain't never had it before. You know why? Because we keep thinking or we keep getting presented with you got the things that you did to get them, you got to do to keep them. How many of y'all, how many of y'all got some tapes? Got some cassette tapes from the 80s full of, or 90s, or whenever, full of music that you liked. You know, before there was a playlist, you had your tapes. And you had your tapes and your CDs that you made. Some of them, some of those, some, some of those tapes you might have taped off the radio. But you know how. You got those tapes. So it's throwback Thursday, y'all. So y'all got to walk with me on this one. You know how you got those tapes to whereas you listen to that tape so much that whenever you hear songs from that tape, you keep expecting to hear the song that you taped come on after that song. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to give y'all an example of what I'm talking about. My sister used to have this tape. This had to be like 1983, 1984. And my sister used to listen to rock music. So she's introducing me to Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and, and all of these classic rock groups and all of that kind of shit. And I'm like, what, what the fuck is this? But I'm digging it. Anyway, the song Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin used to play on this tape. And I remember listening to this, listening to this song that she taped off of either WYSP in Philly or WMMR. But after, after Robert Plant finishes saying, and she's buying a stairway. To heaven. Every time I hear that last verse, I keep waiting to hear boing, yoing, 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 because that's what came on after that song on that tape that I listened to over and over and over and over. I ain't even gonna talk about my Lady B Street Beat tapes that I still have. I ain't gonna go into all of that. But yeah. So with my sister being in the age of R&B and hip hop and all of that kind of stuff. And she was into that too. But imagine her listening to all of these classic rock groups and new rock groups and all that kind of stuff. You know, as a 16, 17 year old girl, whatever. Imagine her dealing with, with dudes around her own age 
They ain't into that shit. She ain't give a fuck. She was like, listen, you're going to have to let me be myself. I listen to this, this kind of stuff along with that other stuff. Now, listen, if you want to be with me, you got to let me be me. You got to let me be me. Have you been with somebody yet who lets you be you, the real you? Because I'm not so sure if that's what you had to do in order to get them. And I'm not so sure that that's going to be what happens in order for you to keep them. Get off my soapbox for a minute. Get off my soapbox for a minute. But I needed y'all to take that walk with me real quick. Carol says, nothing. She wanted a printer that could fax through mobile. I have a good printer if you if you need one, and I'll give it to you for a fee. <laughs> oh, yo, give it to you for free. All right, that's cool. But I got a good one, too, that because I needed one with the same capabilities. Thank you. <laughs> Emily Thomas, calm down, Carol. I got you. Ah, hush. <laughs> VDB says, so I have a question. Is it manipulation when a man tells you don't give up on him, but then any chance, oh, any chance at a disagreement and he literally, and he's literally running away? Emotional investment should be reciprocated. You're right. <sighs> Everybody doesn't get to know themselves at the same time. And that's, that might sound like an excuse that a man will use, but it's true. Every, every man doesn't get to know himself at the same time. Every woman doesn't get to know herself at the same time. And so when there's a confusion of two people trying to get to know themselves at the same time while maybe ignoring what's going on with the other simultaneously, it can cause a lot of confusion because both parties may be screaming for somebody to look at them, understand them, give them a chance. And they may not have been even giving themselves a chance at the same time. It's, eh, eh. That's why young love is hard. And sometimes your second chance at young love, you know, you know middle age and all that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, I don't know. What, what, what is, what's your opinion? Do y'all think um, finding love or understanding love is easier when you're younger or when you when you get older. Because when you get older and more, what they call it, settled in your ways, I don't really like to use that word because that to me that means being stubborn. But I mean, once you know more, do your expectations go up or are you more accepting? I guess that's what I'm asking. What do you think? <laughs> Carol says, "Great, not granny porn. Yeah, maybe not granny porn, but you know what I'm talking about. You know that quirky little stuff, those little interests that you have that you don't think anybody else would understand, but you understand. That's why we have interest groups of all, all, all kinds, because people need to know that there are other people that are like them. You know what I mean? You need to know. It helps you be become more comfortable. T. Carry Wright says, depends on all the all of the moving parts during the disagreement, Vita. Some people fight dirty and make you regret wanting to be better for, for them. Ooh, heavy stuff. Heavy. T. Carry Wright says, yes, at tape and music. Yeah. Nar says, oh, how I wish I had those Saturday night mixtapes. I, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. T. Carrie Wright says, Norris, I still have a couple dozen of mine. I know I do. Them shits is like gold. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mia says, finding your person. Word. And T. T. Carrie Wright says, you think it's, it's easier when it's when you're older. Your expectations change. But when you're older, sometimes your expectations change to a fault because you think that you know we start using terms like you too old or you at a place in your life where you should already know where you should already be doing where you should know uh, you know it's 
sometimes we can be older with unrealistic expectations or we can be older older and we can be arrogantly older let me let me try to say it that way we can be arrogantly older arrogantly older arrogantly older arrogant we can be arrogantly older we can be arrogantly older hey mia are you arrogantly older she says b to b when he gets it together and is healed then he might be ready but trying to build with a person and they aren't settled within themselves might be like fighting the wind. Just my opinion. Mm. Narcel says, I'm more intolerant of ignorant surprises. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. My brother, my mellow, my man. V to B says, facts. I agree. My, expect my expectations are to grow. Yeah. So we get to thinking that because we have come from a place and now are at a different place, we think other people should be where we expect them to be. And not everybody is caught up. Not everybody is caught up. That's why when I talk about you have to do more than you did to get them. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all have to grow together. Y'all have to move together. Y'all don't have to be at the same pace. Y'all don't have to move at the same pace. But both of y'all have to be moving. That's all. Y'all going to finish together if y'all want to finish together. But y'all have to be moving. Because if you're not, one person is going to move too far ahead of the other person. And once you fit, realize that you are so far ahead and somebody else is so far behind... You, you realize, well, I'm up here by myself anyway. I might as well be by myself. I can do bad by myself or I can do better by myself. So y'all need to both be moving. Just as long as y'all don't get too far ahead of the uh, of the one that you want to be with. But yeah, it ain't all about doing the same things to get them as you did. To, I'm, I'm doing the same things to keep them as you did to get them. That's a metaphor. It's a simile. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's, it's it's proverbial. It's not really real. We got to use our minds a little bit more. We got to grow. We got to grow. Mia says ask what's an ignorant surprise Norris and Norris says even if I may be undecided on on some things at least I've lived long enough to know what I don't want. I think what Norris might mean by ignorant surprises. He might mean things like. Here we are in our 40s and our 50s and all of that. And you really give a shit about. I don't know. Russell and Sierra. Chris Rock and Will Smith and what's her name or, or Wendy Williams or how about this you still suck your thumb hmm. you a 45 year old woman you still suck your thumb hmm. I'm not saying that that <laughs> sucking your thumb is ignorant but I think it's hard to I think it's hard to argue that you probably should have moved past that by now. I know all my thumb suckers, all my senior thumb suckers will disagree. But trust me, y'all the only ones who disagree. Most of our parents made us stop sucking our thumb. Like, yo, get your goddamn hand out of your mouth. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Listen, I don't care what nobody say. You ain't going to tell me you never been spoiled if you still suck your thumb. Because I don't know a parent. I don't know a parent that's going to allow that past a certain age. Like, uh-uh. No. All my thumb suckers with that line across their nose. Because they used to suck their thumb and do this. And I'd be like, you used to suck your thumb, didn't you? They'd be like, yeah, I did. When I was younger, how did you know? Eh. 
psychic. <laughs> Mia says, leave the thumb suckers alone. Oh, they are alone. They don't the want sucking their thumb. They're alone already. <laughs> leave them alone. They'd be the mad, they'd be the ones that's the maddest when you leave them alone. I ain't never met me a reasonable thumb sucker in my life. Not a not a not an adult one. Trust me. If she's a full full fledged forty year old adult, she ain't got no problem with bleaching your clothes, burning them shits, busting out your windows. I you I guarantee you, she's a stalker. She's a stalker. But she's also the one that's gonna act like she don't give a fuck. I don't care. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Lying, lying. You ain't gonna tell me that you suck your thumb. You forty years old. You suck your thumb, and you don't you don't mind being alone. You lying your ass off. This you you already do this for security. Don't tell me you you, you don't mind being alone. You lying, you lying, lies, lies, and French fries. But of course, this is a no judgment zone. This is a no judgment zone. What's the male equivalent to sucking your thumb? Because mo most of the adult um, thumb suckers that, that I know are, are women. A man ain't going to really be able to get away with that shit. Think about it. Nigga, you a thug and you sucking your thumb? Yeah. You ain't never going to make it off the block. You'll never see a brick in your day. What T. Gary Wright says, or the dark shadow line under their lip. <laughs> oh, me, you used to suck it. Oh, oh, oh. It all makes sense. Okay. Now, <laughs> Carol said, now I'm going to be looking. And people's noses, yeah. When you see that line, that you can see the line between where the the bone of the nose and and the the fleshy part of the nose, the line will be right there, right there. Me it said, I feel attacked. Look, once you stop, once you stop doing drive bys and burning up clothes and all that kind of stuff, your life is going to improve. I mean, that's all I'm saying. You know, the clothes ain't do nothing to you. They ain't do nothing to you. They are innocent victims. You know what I mean? We don't get any credit for burnt clothes, bleached clothes. And, uh, we can all do better. And it's time. It's time. It's time. <laughs> and we said, me too, Carol, especially the ones I know that still... <laughs> Look at Comfort Carol. Don't be mad, Mia. <laughs> You'll have something we don't want people to know about. That's what I'm stuck calling you. Carol Comforter. <laughs> Lay Carol on the bed. She's a comforter. <laughs> she here to keep you warm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we about to do these birthday shout-outs. All right. I'm on Getty. It's Throwback Thursday. Oh, what the fuck? What did everybody mad at me for? We had a show here. We had a good time. We're starting to understand each other. And now everybody want to get, everybody wanna get out of school with me. What are you getting out of school for? Why are you getting mad for? <laughs> no, says, here's an example, Mia. If someone needs somewhere to stay for for a couple of days, quote unquote, they shouldn't bring a month's worth of groceries with them. 
Mia says, I have never bleached clothes or slashed tires. I wouldn't expect you to admit that. I mean, it's all good. Matter of fact, hold on. There you go. <laughs> T.A. Wright says, I suck my thumb too, Mia. No man I had ever been bothered by it. Okay. All right. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. <laughs> Catherine said it. Oh, boy, I don't like you today. I thought, thought, thought we were having a good time here. I thought we were having a good time. What am I for? Wait, 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 you mad? Wait, wait, you mad? What, why you mad? I ain't no mad at you. Why you mad at me? You, I ain't no mad at you. You know we should be mad at me. He says, none of my exes know about it. I do it in private. I thought I could share my innermost secrets family, but I guess <laughs> Is too much, too much. I tell you, too much. All right, man, let's do these birthday showers. We gotta do this. I can't, I can't read, I can't, I can't, I can't read another. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't read another. I can't read another comment. Birthday shout outs to do some people were born on this glorious, glorious, glorious. March 16th, and they deserve to be acknowledged. So let's go about our business of acknowledging them and making them feel special because they are special because they are special because they are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They get number one out the box, Jared. MCN, that's my that's my young nephew. Happy birthday to you. And also Yorali Vasquez. Happy birthday to you. And my girl Merez Sia Gabriel. And she has like a right uh, uh an adult writing class. She's really, really good at that. Happy birthday to you. And also, last but not least, my man, my mellow. Go get a Chris Blocker. Always has something insightful and very, very um, much of substance to say. Happy birthday to you, my brother. I hope that today finds you all in good health, happiness, mind, body, soul, and spirit. All of y'all go ahead and turn up. Turn up! But don't turn up too loud. Just turn up loud enough so everybody can hear you. I rock out. Rock on and do the damn, the damn, the rock out. Rock on and do the, the, do the damn, rock out. Rock on and do the damn thing. You do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings. You do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And any, any, to any, to uh, anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, man, listen. First of all, 
most importantly, out of everything that we talked about, sucking your thumb is okay if you're an adult. Good night. We'll see y'all tomorrow for another Daily Go Get On Some Show. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. If you suck your thumb in order to get them, you're going to have to suck your thumb in order to keep them. You suck your thumb, you know, sitting on a bus stop, sucking on a lollipop. Once it gets popping, it's hard to make a hottie stop. It's hard to make a hottie stop. Y'all got to learn together, grow together, be together. <laughs> Yo, peace to all my day ones, my every days, and my brand news. I love y'all to death. Resuscitate y'all. I love y'all right, right back to life. Make sure y'all hit that like button, y'all. Make sure that y'all share the show. Make sure that y'all subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. I can't. I can't. I can't. Yes, this is the most fun I've had on this show in years. 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 But all kidding aside, man, you know, I mean, it's all in fun. It's all in fun. Find somebody who lets you be yourself. Some Find somebody who allows you to learn, find yourself, and love yourself. And that will allow you to be able to extend that gratitude to somebody else. It's not always about what you did to get them. After you get something, that's when you have to be the most creative. That's when you have to be the most demonstrative. That's when you have to be um, on. That's when you have to level up to to a place where where finding you was one thing, but discovering you opens up a window that you so happy to see through. That it also lets you see the light, but it also protects you from the wind. And the winds could be the winds of change. Anyway. Anyway, we will be back tomorrow night. So y'all make sure that y'all come back here on a Friday. I hope y'all enjoy listening to the show as much as I enjoy broadcasting it. And I did have fun tonight. I really did. I, I don't I, 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 I ain't see this coming. That was great. All right, y'all. <laughs> All right. So blog talk, we gonna get you out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And for my YouTubers, you know just how we do, but thanks for coming on through. See you on the other side, my boobas. Peace.